Okay, back again. Part three. Um, as I said, you most likely, if I actually posted this, and if you're actually watching it, I'm sure you dropped out by now, and I wouldn't blame you a bit. But as I said, I'm just kind of in a strange mood, and the thing that the catalyst for all of this was when I put the uh, documentary on Jesus Camp in my cart at Amazon. And I said to myself, what the hell am I doing? Spending 10 or 20 bucks or whatever it was to subject myself to this stuff. Why? You know, I'm ticked off enough as it is. Why do I want to get more ticked off? You know what I mean? Well, what can I say? Uh, I think the other thing that's happened is is it's it's almost like I have this hair trigger, so to speak. Uh, someone mentions like a chiropractor or something, and I go ape. You know, I ju I just boom. That's it. It's uh, I don't know. I truly don't. Um, and that isn't good. And I, I guess if, 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 you know, I guess, I guess what I would hope is that folks out there who are pissing their money away on all this stuff, this bogus stuff, I, I would like for them to not do it anymore. <laughs> uh, here's a damn moth or something. Anyway. But. They aren't stopping by my place, I'm sure. Occasionally they do. Uh, and, you know, they, they leave comments about, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. And energy healing works and chiropractors are great and so forth and so on. You know, so I'm just beginning to wonder. Anyway, so I thought what I would try and do, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to, is just stop watching the damn news. As I said, I watch CNN every day, I watch MSNBC, uh, I watch our local paper, paper of course, and I, I pretty regularly go to the New York Times and the Guardian. And so I was thinking to myself, why don't you just knock off all this crap and, you know, try to do something else with your life, instead of driving yourself crazy, you know? Yeah, I've got 25 or 30, 35, 40 books. You know, all this stuff, you know, why people believe stuff that isn't real and why the complimentary stuff bites the big one. And, uh, and you know, of course, Christopher Hitchens and the other folks like that. And I'm wondering, what the hell am I doing, you know? So, that's sort of the deal. And I'm sure this has been disjointed and rambling, as usual. And I, I guess it's getting so, so little out there makes any sense. So little. I mean, you read the news and it's enough to drive you nuts. Um, I don't know. What, you know, what should you do? Do you guys know about cognitive therapy? Well, I'm not saying I know about it, but my understanding of cognitive therapy, excuse me, is we have little control over what comes in our mind. The only control seemingly, or, or ostensibly, that we have is what we do with it when it gets in there. So if we have this thought that pops in, we may not have any control over the thought that pops in. We only have control what we do with that thought when it's in there. And, uh, I think I need to start working on that a little bit also, you know, because as I said, this this stuff is just driving me nuts. And uh, whatever. If, if any of you are still with me here, uh, I think I'm going to sign off now. And uh, I always appreciate your comments. And if you have any that maybe could straighten me out or make me see the light, so to speak, uh, I would. Uh, they would be well received. They, they really would, even if they're negative, you know, whatever. But uh, anyway, I don't know. Um, I just don't know. You know, folks paying astrologers to make life decisions, 
psychics, angels, I mean, gee whiz, I mean, is there any hope for us? <laughs> I mean, come on, maybe, maybe what we need is like this huge, giant, huge, out of bomb, you know, boof, and like we're all gone, and then we start this thing over, and hopefully we do a better job the next time. But who knows? Anyway, it's been kind of a bizarre evening, and uh, I, I I apologize if, uh, well, whatever. But what can I say? Anyway, as Pat Condell would say, peace, ladies and gentlemen, peace, and don't drive yourselves crazy. <laughs> Good night.